Jujutsu Kaisen. And now I'm going to throw it over to Jausha. Okay. One moment. <clears throat> Jujutsu Kaisen, chapter 198. Sakurajima Colony, part... Eight. Eight. Thank you. Okay. Um, last week. Did we not have Jujutsu Kaisen last week? I believe it was no, right? off last week. Yeah. It was off last no, week. So, what? oh, this is a couple weeks ago, actually. Um, yeah. couple, a couple weeks ago, uh, Maki learned to free herself and unlocked true heavenly restriction and it was ready to beat the shit out of her brother turn curse spirit in um that's pretty much it yeah right pretty yeah. much what happened last last yeah last and time that and now oh no 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 oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and now in, 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 in a seething in, in a in, yeah in a fit in a fucking tantrum you may call it uh he emerges into a new i'm out of his chrysalis form which i totally called um into his Actual Nayoya looking form, humanoid Nayoya looking form, at least half of him, and uh, opened his domain. Ho ho ho, that shit was crazy. Okay, yep. so now we start, and we have your boy Nayoya opening up his uh, domain expansion, Time Cell Moon Palace. Oh my god, that sounds so fucking cool, and it, this looks so goddamn creepy. Yeah, it's real gross. Um, yeah. <laughs> It's just an eyeball, but and and others. Ew! What is that hanging? What, mm, <laughs> whatever. It's just it's, you gotta see it, guys. It's, gross. it's, just, uh, it's just weird it, flesh mounds. Yes, it looks like a turkey drumstick on the left side with just uh, like a chewed up turkey anyway, drumstick. Did I mention? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's really nasty, guys. Like with the bottom bone. Like if if someone just chewed the bottom bone. Yeah. Right. Put it down, and that was all they wanted to do: is chew the bottom piece of the turkey leg and then put that shit back on a plate. Right. That's what it looks like. Okay, so yeah, the eyeball I mentioned uh, pierces its gaze into uh, the two ancient swordsmen. My, how I forget their names. See, two weeks is a long oh, time. Um, could... Dido and uh, Dido. And there you go. There we go. So yeah, Di- uh, so yeah, as they get. As the eyeball looks at Dido and Mio, uh, they get hit with what looks like film reels to the back of their neck. Uh, I thought they died <laughs> as soon as that happened, honestly. But um, it's just a part of Nayoya's technique. But they was like, oh, did something happen? They they were seemingly unfazed. So they was like, whatever, let's kill them. And as soon as they charge forward, they start breaking down from what turns out to be at the cellular level. So check this out, guys. Nayoya's refurbished, upgraded, whatever you want to call it, uh, cur- uh, curse technique. Um, no, what's it? Oh, domain. it's a domain expansion. Makes it so that um, anyone he touches um, has to move like him, or they freeze up. Right? Oh, no, no, no. That was that was his uh, that was his original curse technique. Okay. In this domain, it seems the technique's target is even more precise. It can even target individual cells. If you try to move, it might get out of whack. Okay, so basically, yeah, he's freezing their cells in place. So when they move, their body's literally breaking down from the inside mm-hmm. at an atomic level. Is that – no, I don't think that's an atomic level, right? I guess, so, yeah. I mean, it's just, cells are really small. You could say atomic me- level, really. We're not scientists here. So <laughs> whatever. Correct we can say whatever we want. We're not scientists here. Yeah. <laughs> And if you're going to correct us in the comments, why don't you leave a like? Yeah, hey. And yeah. then um, you could also subscribe and then uh, well, share it to okay. your homeboys that like so listening. So I guess you could, say, you could say on a cellular level as opposed mm-hmm. to an atomic level. Oh, thank you, Chris. But once again, we're not the scientists. <laughs> sure. Yeah, so it attacks them on a cellular level. Wow. That's dangerous. Mio drops immediately. His sumo's not enough for this. <laughs> uh, but Dio's just got a tad bit more gangster in him, as we've seen earlier. Uh, so he's still up and pumping. And um, he gets chopped up into his arm, gets chopped up into pieces for his efforts. Not by Nyoya, but by his own cells not moving along with his arm. So he, he tore his own arm off to be a thug. 
let's uh let's take that in for a moment yeah yeah pretty pretty gangster anyway um now y'all get stabbed in the chest yep surprise me too <laughs> i was very surprised but we get a little explanation um as to what just happened so all right basically that was maki that shot them from the back and he couldn't tell where Maki was at because she wasn't caught up in the domain because she has no cursed energy. So she got rejected. They even go to say that the barrier technique treated her as a building. Yeah. Like as an object. That's uh I don't know. Do you have a good explanation for that, Chris? You wanna I think what they mean, something? They, they mean that because Maki doesn't have any cursed energy, that the domain doesn't even register her as a target. Yeah, it pushed her out if she was inside. Like, mm-hmm. Was he able to get caught up in that before, in the past? I don't know. I think so. Uh, yeah, she was definitely trapped in a domain before. But I Oh, don't know. so she couldn't get out because she had no... Well, because she was inside. Yeah. But I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. She got rejected in this one. Yeah, I mean, I got to look back because uh, when she got trapped in a domain was during the Shibuya arc when she was mm-hmm. fighting with her dad. So, oh, not her dad, but I guess like... The head of the Zenin clan. Yeah. Which I'm not sure if that was her dad. Her dad was the other. He's guy. definitely a hater. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Anyway, um, so I'll just read it for you guys. So they say, like Toji, which was, uh, you know, uh, Megumi's dad, the Mr. Heavenly Restriction, fuck Gojo up himself. Uh, <laughs> Naoya must use an actual... Sh- All right. He, he says, uh, like Toji... Maki doesn't have any cursed energy, so barrier techniques shoot as a building. Now, Yoya must use an actual structure as the barrier's exterior, like Fushigoro did in Tokyo Kali number one. I kind of think I remember what he was talking about, how he used the gym. But what they're trying to explain is that he, that spear he created is just a solid object. It's a structure. He had to create a structure to contain his barrier. You know, it still takes place in real space. All, it's infinite inside, I guess. The, the area right. looks completely different, but it still takes up an actual physical space. What I remember when they're referencing uh, Fushigoro, what he did, it's like you said, he used the gym itself as a as a basis for his domain. So the gym, yeah. it, it, like the domain didn't treat the gym as just like, it didn't phase it out. It made it part of the domain. So... You know, he made the space his domain as opposed to just yeah. like creating a space within, creating the domain within a space. You know what I mean? Right. No, that makes total sense. Yeah. Not how Naoya was able to do it. I guess he wasn't good enough with his with his domain yet to be able to do it on his own. Yeah. Oh, well, he didn't know that this would be even a thing. Um, uh, like, he would not. Well, anyway. He thought that he would have caught Maki anyway. Oh, well, yeah, Naoya did, he, but he didn't realize. See, this is what I didn't really understand, all right? I guess I'll, I'll, I'll well, yeah. So you said Naoya must use an actual, okay, but unless she consents, he can't trap her inside the domain. That's weird, because the other guys didn't consent. Is it because they what have mean? cursed energy? Yeah, well, Dido probably in some way consented. I don't know. Oh yes, they did. They they say. Let me see. They get caught. No, they get caught with the technique. Because they both say to themselves, "It's do or die time." It's time to attack. I thought that was them accepting the terms, but no, they got hit. Yeah, they got trapped inside already. Yeah, the language of it is kind of weird. Yeah. Hopefully, someone could break that down in the comments. I don't know if. Yeah, we'll see. My in, in my mind, I see it as she got rejected from it because she's not she holds no kosher energy, but so Dido should have to like should have as well. Really, I, okay. I'm... So here's here's the way I can see it. I think what brought Dido into the what made Dido a consenting party in the domain was the blade that he had because that has cursed energy. So mm. as long as he was holding it he could be dragged into a domain. And the reason Maki was dragged into the domain back in Shibuya was that she was also using a curse tool of some sort. So maybe that is the, that is the, uh, the factor that decides is that if you have something on you that is cursed, you're dragged in. 
regardless of whether you yourself have it. So as maybe as long as you're holding the blade itself. Because that's the only difference between him and Maki. He also doesn't have cursed energy. So the only difference is that he had the sword and Maki didn't. Right, that had to be it. Because as I as I looked along further, they they all they say is that they you know the the barrier couldn't recognize Maki because she had no cursed energy. Yeah. So and that's and the only difference between her and Dido, as far as we understand, is that she had the sword that had some cursed energy in it. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh God. All right. Well, all right. If you know the truth, let us know in the comments, please. Because I feel truth. like that that's my biggest theory here is that the reason that Maki was not in the domain is because she didn't have a cursed object that forced her to be part of the game, as uh, be, be, be part of the domain, as opposed to Dido, who did. But go on, Josh. <laughs> well, you know, she stabs him in the back. But she makes it through the barrier because, you know, she is her. And he, you know, Naya's like, man, whatever. You answered the, you didn't kill me with this blow. So, like, I got you trapped in my domain. Like, that's it. You can't move. I'm out to, 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 to turn into this nasty monster and <laughs> yeah, I guess bite her head off or something. Yeah. He was going to do something. He was, oh, he had his arms coming for it too. Yeah. Yeah. Nasty. Um, and then she, I guess Monkey just kind of flips the, the sword upwards because it was already buried in his chest. And then throws it right behind her back, like Link. Nice. nice. Um, and he says, "What? That's wrong. <laughs> Incorrect. This this scene is wrong." <laughs> Cut. He's, then he says, "Why? The domain's guaranteed. Oh, because the the domain's guaranteed hit couldn't recognize Maki because she had no curse energy." Okay. Well, it hit Dido. I guess he has cursed energy. What else can we say at this Does point? Does that mean <clears throat> so if Akari put her in a so it does that mean that like old school domain expansions are better against her than the new age ones? Well, like she consented. guaranteed one, guaranteed hit ones are gonna not be as effective, right? Well, Mio, she consented to entering the domain, so there's there's that. But I don't know. I guess we get well. Let's let's close out this chapter first, and then we'll get into it. Right, 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 right. Okay. So if I didn't make it clear, she splits his fucking head in half, and he's dead. His barrier burst. Maki walks out as an equal to Toji Zenin. And that's where the chapter really ends. Um, that is where the chapter ends. Yeah. Who Christian? Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. Christian. <laughs> what are your thoughts? Uh, this was pretty much my runner-up this week. Um. I'll tell you what, I feel like these rules are, it's it's tough to interpret them sometimes uh, just because there's so many of them. And uh, we learn, we're still learning about this power system as we continue on this series. So I, I feel like with Jujutsu Kaisen, I always feel like I'm putting pieces together, which can be fun sometimes. You know, I feel like Jujutsu Kaisen's power system is... Uh, is very is very fun to like really think about and it's a very unique uh and fun power system to dissect in in a lot of different ways but i if it feels weird that so many things are still being established uh further mm -hmm. onward um i feel like this is one of the ones where it almost kind of worked against it i really like this chapter and i like i always like the explanation of the rules but um, if I couldn't put it together, I probably would have been a little frustrated because it's like, what the fuck are you talking about, bro? <laughs> sometimes it feels like, yeah, like sometimes it feels like Akutami is kind of like talking to himself, you know, it's like he's he's, like he's trying to make it make sense to himself. Right. Act retroactively. Well, I it's think like, it's, uh... I think it's actually one of those things, you know, when something makes sense to you and you're desperately trying to explain it to other people, you know, like yeah. trying to find <sighs> the right words to really like get it. That's how it feels to me, which, you know. It's not the worst thing because he, for what this is, he does, for the most part, a really good job of doing it. I feel like the rules are sound. I didn't think that this was like an ass pull, but there's, I guess, little, not inconsistencies, but things that could come off as inconsistencies because of how uh, how he explains certain things. Like Dido and Maki not being affected and not being affected in, 
in uh, respectfully respectively uh by the domain thing is kind of confusing and i'm wondering if that's also just the sword thing too is that uh dido is also affected because he has the sword and if he doesn't have the sword he wouldn't be affected um no. that's my well, she thing. had the sword as she came in exactly so you know that's that's the rough part <laughs> that's where we don't understand oh, well maybe you know it's not a guaranteed hit but it can hit her i don't know it said it couldn't recognize her at all i mean just you couldn't recognize her, i mean this is this is interesting man yeah it's uh i have faith that he's going to break it down a little bit further or something i would hope so but right now that's i guess my only kind of issue with jujutsu kaisen is that i feel like akutami can be a little clearer in his uh explanation of the power system because this has happened before where we're like what (laughs) what is this what are you talking about uh so you know it might be a nitpick and um you know us we love jujutsu kaisen no, but he does get up his own ass. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Sometimes. Um, there is this one Drag, moment. Relax, my guy. Yeah. There is this one moment where um my he talks to my she talks to my again. Um and we get a little explanation of the blade that my actually left behind and transformed into was and uh she was she turned to a replica of Toji's old sword, which is the split soul soul uh the split soul katana. Uh, so basically by, it can bypass the toughness of many substances that, uh, to cut the soul. However, exerting that power fully requires eyes that can absorb, uh, observe even the souls of inorganic matter. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> cool. Uh, I guess what they're saying is that he can, he's able to cut cursed spirits this way or she is sorry. Um, uh, mm-hmm. But I don't know, bro. That's the only thing. And that's, um, I, I thought the little moment with Mai and Maki was cool because this was just Mai being like, I, I, this is what I've been trying to teach you. And Mai knows this better than anybody about Maki always comparing herself to other people and having this hang up about how other people view her. So it was cool that she, you know, this was her consciously kind of teaching her a lesson here. Uh, yeah. But I don't know. I guess on a character front, that's all I got to say. The rest was about the power system and the fight in general. Um, Naoya is probably dead for real. <laughs> I I wouldn't be surprised if he had one more form at the end of this. Uh, but yeah, it, it was a good chapter. Um, I, I hope Mio is okay. Oh, he is okay. He's up. But yeah, I'm excited to see what comes of Dido in the future. And he's probably every time like these characters beat somebody or, or win a fight in their in their colony, they seem to gain an ally of some sort. So I'm I'm looking forward to seeing how these different characters play into the overall story. So but those are all my thoughts. Um, Josh, what did you Oh, Brian? Sorry. What did you think about this chapter, Brian? Um. You know, another classic Jujutsu Kaisen chapter. Um, you know, the action was sick, the, you know, over explanations, but I don't really mind it. No. Um, I didn't really mind it all that much. Uh, this chapter was was pretty interesting when it came to the fact that um, we got to see more of Maki's evolution as a character, you know, and that's that's all I really enjoy. I think it was extremely interesting that they claimed that she's on the same level as Toji now, which is absolutely fucking nuts because Toji fucked up Gojo. (laughs) So she, if she's on that level, she is a massive threat to anybody living right now. Like she, she's absolutely fucking nuts. So having someone at on that level on your side has to be extremely comforting. Um, Remember those guys? Oh, sorry, Brian. No, it's all good. I this is somewhat relevant. Um, do you remember when Toji came back during the Shibuya arc? Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, and yeah. he got summoned by those people, and then he just ended up like taking over, like the summon, mm-hmm. kind of like Madara did with the Ito Tensei. 
now that I think about it. Mm-hmm. Um, but he came back and he ran into Megumi and did something else. Do y'all remember what it was he did? No. Like, well, he didn't lose to Megumi. I know that. Okay, well, sorry, bro. I, I don't recall. But, um, no, it's fine. Uh, I'm just really, I really want to see what more Maki can do because it seems like she's unlocked like a new level to this shit that we haven't seen before. Or maybe we've only seen like a hint of it. But that, those are all my thoughts. Josh, what did you think? Um, I really like this chapter. One Piece was re- really amazing. And, you know, my hero was good, too. It just annoyed me a little too much. <laughs> so this was definitely the runner-up. Um, I love this guy's art. What can I say? I like the creatures when they turn into nasty, like, creepy, you know, ghouls or whatever you want to call them. And then watching their head get split in half is very satisfying. I don't know why. It looks like a titan. That's what it is. He looks like a Titan getting his head split in half. Yeah. I can appreciate that. Definitely. Cool stuff. So. Naoya did not go out like a gangster at all. He did have a pretty cool uh, domain and all that, but it was just too weird. And it was tainted by the fact that Dido would still able to move and stuff while Maki could. Is it maybe it has a lot more to do with heavenly restriction than that? Maybe because Dido's not a full heavenly restriction user. Yeah, he's maybe he's got enough swag with the sword. Yeah, sword, sword. Yeah, yeah, maybe that's what it is. Maybe he has a little yeah. bit. I don't know. I don't know. Shit, he had enough swag to throw that sword to Maki through the barrier. Mm-hmm. Hey, yeah, did y'all notice that that panel? She has her hands going through the barrier, like. Oh yeah. Oh, is that, that was what that was? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it took me a little while to like notice. I mean, I'm still guessing, but that has to be it. You see the sword still flowing in the air. Poor Dido lost his sword swinging arm. That sucks. His left hand? His mm-hmm. left arm? Wow. Yeah. Really rough. He's alive, yeah, though. It, really rough. Everybody, uh, there's a lot of characters who just lose arms in this series. <laughs> it's really tough, man. I wonder yeah. if there's a way to like recover that shit. Maybe. Recovery jutsu. I just want to know what Toto's up to. Oh, reverse, reverse curse technique. Why is Toto not in this arc, dude? Because he has no hands. So? Yeah. <laughs> anyway. I'm telling you, they're going to give him something. Yeah. They're going to give him an Advil. An Advil that like, cures and, your hands? Yeah. Or oh, Tylenol extra strength and just tell him get out there and figure <laughs> it out. Well... All right. Well, is, uh, is that maybe everything? he gets smacked at the side of his body, like that? Oh, maybe he maybe he could just like clap his body, like that. Like beat on his back, you know, or clap somebody else's yeah. hand with what? With his oh, thumb? has he ever did that with Didn't somebody he, else's hand? He lost both his hands. Oh, he lost both his hands. I think so. Right? Total loss. No, both I thought it was only one. Oh, well, yeah. Then maybe all he has to do is like slap his chest, and he's good. How do you lose his hand again to to Shigaraki? No, he touched him, so Mahito. he had to chop Shigaraki? it off. Shigaraki, Mahito, they look similar. Mahito, yeah, they do look similar. They have a similar vibe. Yeah, yeah, he lost it in that fight. I don't know. Anyway, 